Keeping your kids safe How is the UK baby car seat law changing in 2017 and how do I fit my child's seat correctly? The new regulations come into play in just a few weeks, here's how they will affect you as a parent. Spot checks by insurer Sheila's wheels found that a third of child car seats were fitted incorrectly, with 1 in 10 being dangerously installed. The law is set to change on March 1st, here's everything you need to know. But what is the UK law for using child car seats? Kids must use car seats until they are either 12 years old or 135 centimeters, 4 feet 5 in, tall, whichever comes first. Some experts recommend you use a car seat for all kids under 150 centimeters, 4 feet 11 in, and this is the law in Ireland, Germany, and France. Only EU approved seats can be used in the UK. Look out for the capital E in a circle. Tots must travel in rear-facing car seats until they are at least 15 months old. You'll know when your baby has outgrown its seat, because the top of his or her head will be level with the top of the seat. At this point, parents can either opt for a larger rear-facing seat, or a forward-facing one. Experts advise to only make this swap when your child can hold their own head up for at least half an hour at a time. Tots should be in baby carrier, as opposed to a child seat until they weigh at least 9 kilograms. They can also only use a backless booster seat when they weigh 15 kilograms or are around 3 and a half years old. If your child has any disabilities, they may need a specially designed seat. How has the child car seat law changed? Since April 2016, people have been talking about a ban on backless booster seats for younger kids. The new regulations come into force on March 1 but they only apply to new models, meaning parents can legally continue to use backless booster seats they already own. Under the new law, backless booster cushions should only be bought for kids who are both more than 125 cm, 4 feet 1 in, tall, and weigh more than 22 kg, 3 st 7 pounds. Which? Child car seat expert Lisa Galliers says, to be clear, the new rules will only apply to any new products entering the market, and seeking approval, after the date the change comes into force, which we're told should be by March. Why has the law changed? Many experts say booster seats are unsuitable for young kids as they are not as secure. The adult seatbelt is not guided across the child's body in the same way with booster seats, and they offer little protection if a car is involved in a side-on crash. How do I fit a child car seat? Make sure the seat itself is fitted as securely as possible, with no excessive movement. And make sure the seat's buckle is clear of its frame, because otherwise it could snap open if you have an accident. With babies, harnesses should be pulled tight, with no more than two fingers space under the shoulder straps at the collar bone. The harness buckle should be as low as possible, to keep the lap section of the harness across your child's pelvis and not resting on his or her stomach. Check the harness and chest pads are adjusted according to the instructions. When can my kids legally travel without a car seat? In a taxi, minicab, or van but they can only travel in the back of the car, and should not wear an adult seat belt if they're less than 3 years old. In a minibus or coach, again, young kids shouldn't travel in the front seat. It's fine for kids of any age to travel without a seat belt in a coach but in a minibus they should wear an adult belt even if under 3 years old. On unexpected journeys but only if the journey is necessary, for a short distance, and the child is over 3 years old. If you have lots of kids and there isn't room for a third car seat. If this is the case, the third child can either travel in the front with a car seat, or in the back without one if over 3 years old.